Hi guys, how are we doing? Today's video is a challenge video. My wife versus me of bricklaying. Now my wife has absolutely zero background in bricklaying. She has no experience in bricklaying. So she is going to be using what is called the bricky. It's a tool that helps people with absolutely no bricklaying experience to lay bricks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this to the test, see how good it is, and also <laughs> see if it can beat my brickwork. I've been laying bricks for 18 years, so I like to think myself as a bit of a professional. So it'll be interesting to see how this notches up against uh, what I'm gonna lay as well. So we'll do a side-to-side -side comparison. Also, if you are interested, t-shirts and uh, hoodies are available. There is a merch shelf just below my video and also a link in the description, so go and check those out. And also, 80% of you apparently aren't subscribed. So if you do enjoy this video, there's a subscribe button just down there. So just hit that button and uh, you're golden. Right, okay, so let's just get straight into this uh, into this challenge video. Challenge is now beginning. We're gonna build one corner on the end. Holly's gonna build it. I don't even think I've introduced you. To those of you who don't know, this is my wife, Holly. Um, Holly's gonna be using the Bricky Mate over here to build a corner, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here in the normal standard fashion. So there is no time challenge, there is nothing, so. Let us go. Oh, and I would like to preface, preface <laughs> by saying I haven't taught Holly anything. I haven't told her how to lay, <laughs> I haven't told her how to lay bricks. <laughs> you just proper <laughs> slop that in there. Well, this just does it for <clears> you. <throat> so I haven't told her Holly how to lay bricks. I haven't told her how to use this tool. The only way, the only, um, Thing she has looked I did up. Watch a video. She watched a video by the person who makes it to explain how to use this bricky tool. So I have had no impact <laughs> whatsoever on how Holly's going to do this. So it is as if someone with absolutely. <laughs> You're not in a sandpit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bricks laid, wages paid, love. Oh, by the way, that's my little motto on the channel. Okay. Um, you lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, so there, there is absolutely no um, outside influence from myself. I'm guessing you didn't swap oh. it on. Pardon? Is that better? I'm not going to help you in any way. You do, you do whatever you want, mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm no outside influence. Okay. So whatever, if you see it, if you deem it to be good enough to just slop it in there, then you <laughs> slop it in there. Well, it can't I go probably shouldn't say night. that because there'll be all sorts of saying that in the comments. Just slop it in there. <laughs> They're a mucky bunch on this channel. Actually, I don't know, I think it's me. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty good going. Nice, good job. I don't know how long it needs to be. How long do you want it to be? I'll just do it like that and then that'll be enough. Yeah, because I put a little bit extra on anyway, so it's going to make no difference okay. if you do. Oh, where's the Gary? Oh, by the way, Gary's um, <laughs> slang for uh, level. Gary Neville, okay. level, and his little brother, Phil. You don't know who they are. It's really hard getting it level. Maybe if I just keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah. How long are you doing yours? This long. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll just make mine up as I go along as well, then. I can't like I said, get it all in there. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is going to be our rated this video, isn't it? <laughs> I guess I'm just wanting it to be perfect, but just it doesn't need to be. Perfection comes in many forms. What did the matey say after that? Sling your brick in. I think so. There's a snail on this one. <laughs> Preoccupied with the snail. I'm just taking away okay. It's right up there where a bird can see it very easily and just swoop down and have its dinner. It's fine. Cool, perfect. Is that perfect? That's bang on level. Yippee. I would advise not doing that until one course up. It's easier to move them when there's two. Because I, like I haven't done that with on, on any of these and I won't do it till the next course. Alright, pause the video. Be back. I've got to pop down wicks and pick some stuff up. Holly says she's going to catch up, so I'll be back in a minute. 
I'll probably play some music over this. I might even time that soon. Yeah, it would take me that long. Oh, I did frog up. Yeah, good girl. Thanks, I watched your video. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Frog up, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, I'm kicking it. That will do. Whoa, look at that. Now I just need to turn it around. Turn around. <laughs> Don't, because you have to, you get copyright striped <laughs> if you start singing. Yeah, fair enough. And you'll probably lose subscribers if you start singing also. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> You're correct. Okay, this is where I struggled last time because when you use this, I tried to use it when it was on there, yeah. like you did in the video, but it all just fell apart. So I'm going to have to do it like this and put it on it. Yeah. Because okay. when I did that, yeah. it, it took me so long, it all fell apart, and that's why that brick was so wrong. I guess with this tool, it's much the same as real brick laying practice, really. Yeah, I honestly think that it only helps with the easy bit anyway. It seems a bit of a faff. I, I have to hold this here. Yeah. Look at this, this is ridiculous. Why you, I know you're laughing, but you're I'm not. I'm not laughing, but <laughs> it's interesting to see someone who doesn't know how to lay bricks, lay okay. bricks. No, 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 I'm, I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean as in, well, there you go. <laughs> right, hold on a minute. I'm going to show them what happened. <laughs> right, let me just show you what happened there. So, what what were you trying to do? When you throw it in the muck and then it sticks. So you're talking about the muck, yeah, not the trowel. No, I'm the trowel ended up going with the muck. <laughs> the trowel in the muck. All oh, right. I know what I was trying to do. There we go. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just. Can you just? I cut you those halves. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised. No, I'm. I'm <laughs> that, I'll tell you. That's interesting. I'll reuse that. I'm not. Sort of. No, I forgot. Picking holes, I I'm just. I just. Uh, the, mm, Does just, that go that way? Yeah. I cut them so they go that way. <laughs> go on. If that'll work. <laughs> Who needs a bricky tool? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty legit to me. <laughs> Is that okay? Try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? This isn't going to hold anything up. It's, well. It might hold something up. Try it. Okay. Well, I'm going to rub mine up and I'll put Excuse this camera back. <laughs> That's what it's called. I'm going to rub it up, not rub it off, rub it up. You pick your trail up. Good job I'm wearing gloves. I might do this one again because I feel like it's really okay. bad for me not to. All right, well, I'll put this down and we'll continue. Okay. So on the video, he does it like this. Yeah. But, but that just looks like that's going to. I was about to say it's going to push that brick right back, which did exactly that. Did it? Yeah. I would say don't do that on yep. the first brick because you see oh, there's like a massive gap. You've yeah. got to move that. If you haven't come like two or three bricks along, then use that yeah, like that. Yeah, I still feel like it's not the right thing to do though. I feel like it's easier to do this. Right. Well, like I say, do what you think is best. This. And do that then. Oh, see, it sticks to the side. Interesting. And now I don't know what to do. With the trowel, just cut around the edges. It seems really counterintuitive doing that if it sticks to the edges like that. Well, this is the first time it's stuck. It might be, it might be the muck. Because it's lime mortar, it might have... Well, I don't know, that doesn't seem right if it's not there sticking. Um, 
one. I'll help you out. What are you doing? Oh, are you putting. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry, I thought you were putting well, it. Oh, no, you ruined it. Take it off. You ruined it. There you go, you cheated. Well, no, because mine's better. No, I better. thought you were putting that on this way round. I didn't realise you were doing it that way. Sorry, my bad. Oh, no. <laughs> it fell. <laughs> Is that why I shouldn't do it that way? Uh, it's completely up to you. People. But. I shouldn't do it that way. Well, no, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it that way because bricklayers, some people do it that way and some don't. Okay. I'm just one of the ones that don't. Okay. Oh. I butter the brick up and then lay it right. Yeah, I might do that because that just... You could do it like this <laughs> and just slap it on. Just slap it on. I mean... I guess some places they do that. Really? Yeah, some people lay bricks with their hands and like different parts of the world. I would much rather do it with my hands. <laughs> it's more fun. It's more fun. But the, uh, the cement there we in go. it is dangerous. It'll burn your hands. I've got gloves on. I know, and there's no cement in this. But, <laughs> Holly, we're trying to be testing a tool out, not <laughs> selling your services as a bricklayer that uses their hand to lay bricks. Well, I'm just testing out two things. There we go. It looks really scruffy. Holly, this is the first time you've ever laid bricks. <laughs> it's not going to look perfect. If, okay. it, if it was perfect, I'd be, I'd be sort of sacking myself and saying, right, I'm going into retirement. You can earn the wages. Yeah, but look how long it's taking. Layer. So now that I'm putting the corner one on, do I need to put the muck on the end of this one? Yes. Okay. Oh, I think I put too much on. Ugh. No, see, it all falls. It's falling. Ooh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be bleeping out my oh, shit. My, um, Sorry. my potty mouth wife. <laughs> that's for sure. There's going to be a few fog horns in the background there. <laughs> I can see why you swear now when you lay bricks. Yeah. Are you sticking oh. your bum in my face? Sorry. I mean, I'm, a bit I, preoccupied. I, I'm not exactly saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> Again, it's sticking to the edges. And I've got nowhere to put this. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you work. <laughs> well, I'll just pick it up in a second. Yeah, that's fine. That, yeah. I don't know, it's just a bit... So... Oh. So... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You're just stuffing it in there. <laughs> Does it matter how big the gaps are? They are supposed to be 10 mil. But, I mean, will the building fall apart <laughs> if they're well, not? I'd probably say no, cool. but you want it 10 mil. Okay, well... If you want perfection. That looks 10 mil. That looks 10 you sound like me. <laughs> now that looks about right, sling it in there. So you find that that doesn't stick to the end? No, it does stick. What do you mean? When you put that muck on the end there, you're saying it's not sticking? No, I'm saying it sticks to the edge of this, oh, and then okay. I can't get it off. <laughs> I like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, thoughts on this tool? You can't swear. <laughs> Um, so the stuff sticks to that. That's one of the main things. Yeah, it's you... a bit annoying. Um, I just, I just honestly feel like, wait, why don't I try and do it without it on the next okay. lot? Because yeah. I feel like it makes it. Okay. Well, the next one. It takes away the. Do it without, without using that tool and just lay bricks as, as you, as I would have done. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like. Okay. The hardest bit is getting everything straight, and the tool doesn't really help you with that. Okay. All right, well, uh, well, I might do, but I don't know. What I'll do is I'll probably time lapse that, unless I find you say something really funny. Oh, this is. I take it all back. <laughs> Instantly take everything I said back. I'm just going to use my hands. You can't just use your hands. I can. <laughs> Let me. How is this muck? No, the muck's all right. <laughs> it's just say, me. It's dry. Well, just give it a go, because you said you would. Yeah.
I've never quite seen it done that way, but I suppose that's <laughs> I one way of doing it. I don't want to waste it. That's one way of doing it. I don't want to waste everything. Do you just do it by eye? No, you use a level. No, I mean... The, oh, the initially... Gap, the gap. Initially, you'd sort of look down. Oh, no, you do. You tape it up. Okay. You know your 75 times table? You measure it up. I know my 75 times table. You measure up 75, 1500, 225. You're about... Three mil high. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. <laughs> I tell you what, that's pretty good. That's really good. Thanks. I learned on YouTube. Did you? Someone called Bricklay with Stephen Alex. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got really good videos. I'm not being funny, but that's that's really good. Apart from that bit. <laughs> oh my god. Why is that not? I, I really Using don't... your fingers. Well, I suppose oh. that's one way of jointing up as you go. I don't want to waste any. It's really annoying how much I waste it. So, after laying that one brick there, what did you find easier? Doing it that way or using the tool? That was a hell of a lot quicker. That was, yeah, but was it easier? Yeah. Yeah? Because that, that, this, that's good. That, that thing there is good. The template's good, but that's useless, is that what you're saying? Just, yeah, it's not. Um, okay, we'll just do it again. I was quite impressed with that. Thank you. I actually, I know how to do that because I've watched you do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just goes to show if you want to learn how to lay bricks, I've got a playlist down below. Brick laying for beginners. Oh no. Oh, this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to advise you. But you have got a little bit. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And then you just squish it in. I know what to do. All right, well, I'm just giving you a bit of a helpful advice. What did you think I was going to do? I don't know. You'll throw it at me, probably. <laughs> yeah? There's not really anything here. Well, when you press that down, it should squish out. No, I think I didn't put any there. Oh. Well, you can point that in afterwards. That's one way, don't it? It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the job done. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? Yeah, it actually is. There's still going to be a wall at the end of the day. Well, I don't know about that. Not at the end of the day. <laughs> it might <laughs> get blown over. <laughs> no, I'm impressed. Thank you. That, I'm very impressed with the way you butt that up. It's good. I've worked with a lot of bricklayers in my life, and I'd say you're better than some of them. Really? Yeah, I've seen some of them oh, wow. butter the bricks up, because that, you're going to get a lovely full perp. Are you watching, everyone? Lovely full perp. Oh, actually, help there. As you squish that in, there's going to be no gaps in there. That is, that's a good perp. Bricks on the wonk a bit, but <laughs> this is something I can work with. <laughs> I reckon we can make a brick layer out of you. Well, I might need a job soon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've got it. Okay. <sighs> nice full perps. Oh, it's a bit. Uh, uh, mm, yeah, I wouldn't have done that, but. Yeah, but I had to make this straight. Yeah, you just do that, and you can feel <laughs> it. You can actually feel it. Being It'd be interesting straight. to see how plumb it is. Get your level out and see how oh, it goes. Oh yeah, I just thought I'd finish. No, you got to check the levels, check them first. Okay. Oh wow. I'll tell you what, that's bang on. I don't Mate. know if you can see that on there, but oh, you just moved it. Yeah, because the middle one wasn't. That's pretty good going. Thank that's you. really good. Now on this end. Oh, this is. That's me. um, it could have a little bit of work done to it. <laughs> this do... is where you whack it with the, the back end of your trowel. Yeah. That's probably all right, you know. Oh, I need to. My hair's in my way. Perfect. Is it? Yeah. That's bang on. Okay. Nice. So that's too high. Yeah, tap that in. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to play the bongos or something? I don't know where I'm tapping. Oh, anywhere. Will that do? There you go. That's there level. There we go. Yeah. The only thing is you've got a bit a gap under here, but I mean... Oh, yeah. So realistically, you should relay that brick, but... Okay. Well, let's do it properly. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. All good. That's good. Okay. Now now we can point it up. Yep. I got a pointer. Use this. So how do you use this? Basically you got the different widths for the joint and you just run it through like that. Okay. I think this is made for a recessed joint, but Oh I 
I'll get it. So but what I would suggest is put your hand up here and just a little bit of weight on it, okay. just so that the bricks don't go flying. And yeah, just do that through. I would say maybe use the one that's slightly bigger. Okay. Should I do the top or the bottom first? Uh, it doesn't matter, just work your way from top to bottom or bottom to top. I can't see this plastic tool last, lasting long because it's plastic on brick. When you go to the corners, go in from the corners, otherwise you push the muck out like you just did. So, <laughs> oh, just just yeah. an FYI. I don't think there is any muck in the corners. All oh, right, okay. I think that's the problem. When you don't have any muck in the corners, you should point some in. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. This isn't very good. It's your first... Oh, maybe it's, I'm not very good. Sorry. I'm not being funny. It's, it's not bad for a first attempt. I'd still just rather do this with my finger. <laughs> Well, do I at feel least like a lot of bricklaying can be done with Holly, fingers. Do it down because you're flicking all the muck out. You reckon a lot of bricklaying can be done with your fingers? Yeah. Well, do this side with that tool, and do the other side with your fingers, and we'll see which one's better. Okay. You happy with that, or do you want to plug the holes? Plug it. How do you plug it? Just literally do that. Yeah. Just that's not how you're supposed to do it, but for you, I guess that is how you're supposed to do it. What do you mean for you? As in, you you want to use your fingers more than the tools. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you not want to try and put it on a trowel? Um, why? <laughs> well, I'll let you do it the way you want to do it. I'm trying not to uh, intervene. Like, Let's be honest, newbies are going to be doing this <laughs> with their hands. So what's this technique called? <laughs> I don't even want to say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the finger pointing. Okay, the finger pointing. And again, I've worked with a fair few bricklayers in my life and some of them have finished their brickwork up like that. And I'm not going to lie, I've done it a couple of times. Really? Only in like small inconspicuous areas where you wouldn't be able to get a, um, a pointing tool in there. I have done it with a So a pointing like tool is better? Oh yeah, massively. <laughs> don't use your fingers. Anyone out there watching this, don't use your fingers to rub up <laughs> brickwork. Right, where's the tool? Right there. Oh, okay, yeah. Does it have to be in the same um, depth? Uh, ideally, yes, but I mean, Structure like I said, I'm, no. You, if you did particularly want it all over the place, you could have it all over the place. I think it's more rustic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the whole, it's pretty. Uh, it's not too bad. I know. I need to put some more. Oh, you're using a trowel for this one. That's uh, one way of doing it, I suppose. How are you supposed to do it? Um, if you could lean the trowel up against it and push it in with the tool so you don't get smudges on the brickwork. Okay. I think I'm better at laying than fingering. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> PG-13 channel, Holly. Do you think that's all right? Are you asking me? Like I said, I was trying not to give you any pointers or anything. Can so, I just... do I think it's all right? If someone had built someone this wall, yeah. would you be like, oh my God, this is dreadful? If someone had done this for a job, I'd yeah. say they need sacking. <laughs> oh, they God. wouldn't even get one course out of ground like this. If you really? were doing it in a professional sense. It does look pretty bad. If someone had built that, right, okay, let's... let's Why does yours look so good? Like... Because I've been doing this for 18 years. You've been doing it for 18 minutes. <laughs> You're pointing. Yes. Right, Wait, but... you brushed yours. Yeah, we'll, we'll brush yours and see yeah. how it looks. Can I just ask, I'm going to ask all the viewers, down in the comments, if someone... <laughs> no, before I, you got to ask after I oh, brush right, it. Oh, after we brush it off. Bad. Okay, after I brush it off, I'll ask the question. So let's leave that five minutes and then we'll brush it off. These are some deep crevices <laughs> on me. They are. <laughs> I would say go over it again once you've brushed it with the pointing tool. I'd probably say that um, that would need another brushing over after lunch. Yeah, no, I thought that. <coughs> Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> but it's, it's looking pretty good. I don't like this tool. No, I don't either, and I haven't used it. Do you want to have a go? Oh, it, this is it just me? It's not too bad. 
I mean, I can't imagine that that is going to last very long because it's plastic. No, but I mean, wait, but, are you just doing it way better than me? What? Looks pretty good. How did you do that? You just so I wasn't going to help you, but no, but now I'm basically going. run it along, yeah, like that. But keep, put your hand on the brick on the top, and you might want to use a smaller size. Yeah, well, I got that one. And it got rub, rub, rub the residue off of the actual tool itself, so it's smooth. There you go, your gym trousers. That's alright. Can't yeah. go to the gym. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, just do exactly that, and it will smooth it off nice. Um, but when come in from the corner oh, so you yeah. don't push it, that's it. Yeah, do that, mate. You're looking tidy. What about these bits? Just just do exactly what you're doing there. Okay. That's as good as it's gonna as good as you're gonna be able to do it. Those bottom ones. <laughs> I love that you were gonna say it as good as it'll get, but you changed it as good as you can do it. <laughs> yeah, it was as good as it'll it get. Because it can get better. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me out. <laughs> You're trying to be nice. I am nice, sort of. Are you happy with that? Um, this is very empty. But now, whose fault is that? Oh, that's the one I did without the tools. Yeah. So, just goes to show that... <laughs> Do I put... <laughs> no, leave it, Holly. Should I? Right, in reflection, before you start throwing muck at this wall, what are your thoughts on that tool? It was a pain in a pain. Right. But it obviously works better using it because I just think the time it takes to do. I, if if I you know practice, if, if you, you. You what? The, the big long one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The one for actually putting the muck right. down on top of the brick. So the template to set all the muck out with? That is really good, obviously. Okay. Because it gets it to the end and you don't have yep. the gaps like this. Okay. But the one for. The this perps. bit, yeah. I would not even bother because it's so easy just to put it on. Okay. And do it that way. It okay. Just, when it, when I used the other one, it started falling off and it was all. And going and from me watching you putting those bricks in. I know you're gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna. No, you, you that's fine. <laughs> 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 I'm We're being serious. We're reviewing a tool here. So from from what I could see, it looked like you were putting more muck in, and it was better on the bricks. The way not using, not using this template. Yeah, and it's so fiddly as well; it just falls straight off. Maybe so I'm not holding you're it better off saying use the template for. I don't even know if I'm pointing that. I can't see. Use the template to set out your beds. Oh my lord, <laughs> to set out your beds. But this, you might as well sling it in the bin because you're better off just buttering it up with your oh, <laughs> buttering it up with the trowel. That's what you're saying, yeah? Yeah. While you're just smearing a sausage all over that perfectly built wall. I've got to take a thumbnail yet, you know. <laughs> anyway. Bear with me. Okay, all right, we'll bear with you. That's way better. Apart from the smudges all over the brick. You said they'll come off. Not that one. That's oh. that's there for life, mate. <laughs> life. <laughs> you're so dramatic. I'd leave that. Yeah, I am. Right. Yeah, I'd leave that. So, in in reflection, as you said, the tools the tools good. You're saying the tools good, but the yeah, really the, good. the thing to the thing to butter that up, you might as well sling it in the bin. Yeah, definitely. Unless yeah, I was going to say it's unless you've never it. used it before, but, but you have never used it before, never laid a brick before in no. your life, and you're saying that's rubbish. Yeah. But that bit's good. Okay. Perfect. What about the jointing tool? Okay, fair it's enough. It's better than my finger. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There you go. It's official. The tool is better than your finger. Right, okay. There we go. We'll come back to this once it's nicely dried off and we'll give it another brush over. But we're having some lunch first because I'm hungry. And there we go, guys. Bricklayer versus wife challenge completed. I'm not going to go into too much detail about mine because that wasn't really the point of the video. I just wanted to uh, showcase this this tool and actually see if it was any good. Holly says it's worth it. Parts of it are worth it. So if you are interested in this kit, then I will leave links in the description to it. They are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do decide to purchase through it, I will get a little kickback from Amazon, but it will cost you absolutely no extra. Also, if you would like to win this kit itself, then go over to Instagram. My Instagram is rodian underscore builds and there will be a post that is very similar to the thumbnail of this video. Go onto that photo 
Um, if you like that photo, follow me on Instagram and comment on that post and also tag two of your friends. I will pick a winner in two weeks and I will have this shipped off to you. So there we go. I am thoroughly impressed with how Holly's built this corner. So, so, so very impressed with the way she was buttoning those bricks up and putting them in. Yeah, it was, uh, I'm, I'm very impressed for someone who's never laid bricks before in her life. She's, she's done very well. So it's, uh, it's very handy. It's a very handy tool. Parts of it do work, but like Holly says, for her, that, that end template didn't work. So she'd rather just butter it up herself. But she said, this is a very worthwhile piece of kit. So on the whole, I think it's a bit of a win. So coming from someone who's never laid bricks before, the bricky mate, the bricky tool, bricky mate, is quite a, uh, quite a solid tool. Okay, we will leave it there for today's video. So please leave a like down below if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. So take care. See you then. ta -ra. Even though we're in quarantine, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's an aeroplane right above me. I wonder where they're off to. Anyway, see you in the next one.